Welcome back to Let's Play Doom. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh... Once again, I find myself facing this... goddamn bridge. So... It's not wasting time. Once more onto the breach! Nice. Physics objects are making me wonder if this game has some kind of variation on the grabber in it. Uh huh? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I exploded that time. That didn't go well. The Grabber was a weapon they added in the Resurrection of Evil expansion for Doom 3, which was, uh... Let's be incredibly generous and say it was uh, very clearly inspired by the, uh... Gravity Gun from Half-Life 2, which, if I remember correctly, came out in between Doom 3's main campaign and its expansion pack. Jump way down there. Maybe, maybe he missed. I'm sorry, did I feel something this down? Must have been a very strong breeze. Danger. Whatever that means. Oh, that reminds me, I need to check a thing when I get a second. Mmm. Doesn't need the imps alive. Oh, I saw that. You're here. No! No to you. I am not interested in your newsletter. Oops. I am, however, very interested in your gratuitous death. Where are you at? No way I can make that jump. Maybe if I had a goddamn jetpack or something. I don't know if you guys knew this about me, I don't have a jetpack. the glowy lights. I thought I brushed it with my upper chest. I thought I did everything right there. Damn. Oh, I accomplished nothing. Pardon 
sound like a good thing to me. That noise that was just being made there. Well, he's dead now is the important thing. Yeah, there's a bunch of shit up here, wasn't there? You're gonna have to do better than Hail Marys from all the way across the map to get me. Yeah, that's right, they're into you assholes in here. Creepy. Oh. Nope, I have no time for any of your bullshit right now. Not with a bridge already here. I see. Back up! That one was totally unnecessary, but it made me feel very good. And there's a secret here. What the? Where did you even come from? I'm not even mad, just curious. I thought so. Yes, yeah, so I got the micro missiles last time. I apologize, I didn't realize I hadn't saved any of that. Yes, yes, we read that. Okay. Foolish me, I just assumed I got a uh, checkpoint after finding that thing. My sincerest apologies, Burning Dog fans. No one is coming back for that coffee anyway. Oh, right. No, no, we good, we good. And there's armor over there. I guess technically I could grab that, but... I think it's on top of this building, so I don't know that it does me any good. I'm curious. Again? Not a secret. Well, I'll be damned. Except not literally, because, uh... I have an incredibly uh, strong feeling that uh, hell won't take this guy. Now we know that this door doesn't open. <laughs> oh, right. Fuck it anyway. Drunk missiles. No, that was dumb. That was unwise. Oh. Who needs a full set? guy plays for keeps. Excellent. Yeesh. What did you do to yourself? Uh, that's an Argent accumulator she's carrying. She'll try to use it to open a portal manually into hell. While the Argent Tower is non-functional, the connection to their dimension is still viable. We are at great risk, Dr. Hayden.
Hello, and welcome to the UAC, home of the patented Argent Energy Filtration System developed by Dr. Olivia Pierce. We are the only corporation with this technology, able to convert pure hell energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers this facility and is broadcast throughout the universe from Argent Tower, providing all the energy a family needs to live a fun and productive life on Earth and the surrounding colonies. But we can't do it alone. It takes a team to make it happen. A team of people full of energy, potential energy. Unleash your potential with the UAC. Thank you for your interest in Argent Energy. Tell me something I don't know. Man, I turned the turbines on like a million years ago. Completed in 2127, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team, the Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crowning achievement. Argent Energy Tower. Completed in 2127. Hmm. Based off a prototype developed by Dr. Samuel Hayden's research team, the Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crowning achievement. Funnily enough, uh, this unparalleled piece of technology is born of the synergy achieved when radical, forward-thinking UAC science is charged with the raw power of Argent Plasma. Unprecedented in scale, the tower's primary purpose is to harness Argent Plasma from the fracture, convert it to usable Argent energy, and beam Argent packages to Earth's GD GEDM, Global Energy Distribution Matrix. It is based off of Gauss cannon designs, first prototyped in the late 20th century, although details regarding the inner workings of the tower are a closely guarded secret. Hmm. How do you use a cannon to harvest energy? Interesting. The concept of using a Gauss cannon designed to launch energy packets had not even been theorized prior to the discovery of the, fra the fracture, okay, but the technology developed at a miraculous rate soon after. The phenomenal great, uh, growth of this new tech has led to some speculation that the Argent Tower is actually based off of a design discovered in the artifacts that were found dispersed around the site of the fracture. Uh... Forgo would like to give a shout out to K.O.R. Oops. Who, uh, let me see if I can find a wall. Yeah. How about a well lit wall? Can I get both? Hello, and welcome to the UAC, home of the patented Argent Energy Filtration System developed by Dr. Olivia Pierce. We are the only corporation with this technology. Well, you can barely it see it in this light, but the, uh. Energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers this gun the has, uh, the. what looks like Japanese the symbols on the side. Argent Tower. Providing all the energy and, uh, to live a fun and productive life on apparently, and the, the, uh, KOR informs me that the, uh, well, the Google translation, energy anyway, energy is swordless. Potential energy. And I can see that being funny because, you know, this is a game where there is no dedicated melee weapon, except for, you know, this, which is certainly not a sword. And, uh, apparently there was also a theory on the internet that, uh, it's sort of a joke on one of uh, John Romero's other games, Die Katana. Yeah, they had Die Katana had John Romero in common with Doom, but uh, let's be extremely polite and say that uh, Die Katana was not as Completed big a success. Based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team. The Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crowning achievement. Now I have to... Uh... I don't actually know where I'm meant to be going right now. Up! Oh no. Oh no, they want me to climb the Argent Tower. Hello, and welcome to the UAC. Oh no, Home there's two of them. Argent Energy Filtration System developed by Dr. Fine Lee. enough screwing around. All the corporation with this technology, able to convert pure hell energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers That's really annoying. facility and is broadcast throughout the universe from Argent uh, Tower. 
Good. Providing all the oh shit! That we need Look there. To live a fun and productive life on Earth and the surrounding colonies, but we can't do it alone. Traitor token. And I kind of hate this level, so the less I have to come back, the better. I am going to regret this. Oh! Well, that's cool. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Shane Reeves. I was wondering how these guys died without having a single scratch in their armor. And uh, he points out that... Uh, well, one, they are completely surrounded by blood. Apparently, when you pull the things out, you can see some blood come out after the chip. Let's see. I saw some red particles coming out of there, but I couldn't tell if that was light or, uh, you know, energy or blood. Uh, his speculation was that... How am I meant to undo this jump? Okay. I was standing too close, bonked my head of the lip. His theory was that the, uh, the Lazarus waves had something to do with that, since all we know about it is that people who don't get turned into the possessed Completed die. Based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team, the Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Duck. Oh, I wanted you to die. Oh. Oh no. Oh yeah, uh, that reminds me. Didn't I have something interesting about them just now? Maybe it'll have like a clue. I doubt it very much. Uh, oh right, yeah, the micro-missiles. Summoner. The Lazarus Project has managed to successfully capture several summoner demons. The imprisonment project process sorry, requires careful preparation as a summoner will immediately launch multiple Argent Wave attacks when trapped. To prevent this, hell energy must be continuously drained from the demon until it is sufficiently sedated. An anatomical study of the summoner suggests that it is a highly evolved subgenus of the imp form. Pardon me if I go quiet when shit gets real. Wait, oh shit, there's two of them. Wait a minute. That works. I guess. to the old soul spheres. If I get very lucky, it'll drop me out just past that door. I did not get extremely lucky. God fucking damn it. 
Shit. That pisses me off. I was clearly supposed to come here, get that, and kill everybody, but I didn't even see that because of the path I took around the room. I'm interesting to see the made-up scientific explanation for quad damage, given that it makes absolutely no sense your bullets hurt more. Well, hell. At least I know exactly where to do it if I can't grab that and make it to the next room in time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Doom. Uh, head down that corridor and kill everything that moves. Same old, same old. Later.